Hello everyone, welcome back. I am one of those few who looks forward to Maris Elvraj's creation. I waited for the OTT release of this film and I managed to catch up but felt no hurry in publishing this review. Given the polarized reviews and debates around this film, I went in with mixed feelings and I came back with the same. Let me tell you why. But before that, here is a plot. Sivanandan is a schoolboy in a below poverty line fatherless family. He has a close friend at school, say her. His mom and his sister have to work on banana plantations as manual laborers carrying banana bunches to the lorries. Siva is also forced to work on weekends to support the family. He hates that he is good at studies and extracurriculars, but he cannot enjoy his free time as he must work whenever there is a school break. He has a crush on his school teacher. Amidst this background several incidents happen some of which are due to his fault that worsens his family situation further his mother tries hard but there is no respect to their situation they continue toiling at the plantation till one fateful day that claims the lives of many including his friend and his sister and that's where the film ends it is a tragic story told poetically here are the parts that i liked very much in this film first of all the simplicity of the plot there is no big sensational issue spoken out there it is based on a real life incident where tens of plantation workers from underprivileged class of the society end up losing their lives due to lack of attention to basic safety aspects mari selvaraj has taken this one line plot and weaved a story around it by adding his own life experiences since he comes from a similar background as the characters in the story so he has not tried something unrelatable to him which makes the story and treatment believable secondly the technical aspects of the film mari selvaraj right from his first film has displayed a penchant to produce technically sound films it continues in this as well whether it is the cinematography background score editing or sounds it is orchestrated in a manner that is treat to the tired eyes and the casting there are no big stars common looking people doing and speaking things that are relatable and finally mari selvaraj's courage to speak about subjects and people whose point of view does not find favor with the mainstream filmmakers the way he brings out the frustrations of a young boy who is torn between his childhood and family priorities are commendable if this is such a film where there are no negatives then why do people hate this film so much in my opinion there are a few negatives that are warranted the rest is just pure hatred first of all the lack of clarity in the main plot the story could have taken one of the two directions firstly as a coming of age story since a significant amount of screen time is dedicated to shiva's childhood crush his school teacher it could have been a coming of age story with sweet and innocent nothings and finally concluding it with a tragic end given his family situation or it could have been a social commentary exploring the plight of a young boy who has aspirations but his circumstances force him to labor hard at the plantation his dreams his frustrations his failures and struggles his young fantasy could have been brought out as the sole silver lining in his otherwise barren life however mari selvaraj has tried to bring these together which uh, confused me Personally I did not feel the time spent on his childhood crush and imagination justified at all see the people portrayed and their socio economic background is already something that is not of interest to many sections of the society there are fewer takers of this subject as it is adding confusion to that further restricts only to people who are art film lovers or lovers of his style of films like me the second criticism that i feel justified is mari selvaraj's self obsession yes it is possible that there are certain incidents that inspired some of the aspects of the plot but what i see is the obsession of the director to pass on his imaginations and experiences as inspiration there is this overwhelming urge for self indulgence which has undermined the plot in my opinion he could have chosen to stay true to the plot and curbed his instincts to make it all about himself the pace of the plot here i do not mean crispness in editing this goes back to my earlier criticisms i feel the film would not warrant 2 hours and 14 minutes of run time had mari selvaraj stayed true to the plot firstly needless songs 
secondly the way shiva dreams of his crush his school teacher is understandable but the length at which the director goes about it to make it sound dreamy and poetic and cute did not connect with me at all i just felt the plot was being dragged unnecessarily subtlety has been compromised in the name of creative expression in summary i continue to be a fan of mari selvaraj's work this film still holds my faith in his capabilities purely for his courage to come up with offbeat movies without trying too hard to please anyone else and staying clear of all commercial compulsions however what i would also like to see is a mari selvaraj film that doesn't try too hard to impress himself what could have been a masterpiece ended up falling short due to his overwhelming urge for self indulgence thanks for staying with me i'll come back with my next review till then bye bye